This is the ultimate motorhome. This is absolutely vast. It's three bedrooms, it's five and a half meters tall, it's over 13 meters long. It's just huge. And the trick with this is the way that it packs up because that whole roof section there will actually drop down to bring the height down to four meters, which is what you require for European road transport. This is a slide out, that slides in, and that's the secret to it. It's like a transformer. It all expands out to what we've got here. The inside of this is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna give you a full tour of that in a moment, but we're gonna head around the outside first of all and just show you a couple of things. Now to move this around, it's basically like an articulated lorry. So you use a tractor unit like that one over there, that connects into the front and that's how you move it around. These skirts come off and it's basically like a truck. But just look at the size of this. It is massive and the interior is incredible. We'll take a quick walk around the outside first and then we'll head inside and give you the full tour. Air conditioning units up here on the front. And if we come down this side, there's a couple of things to show you. So in here, for example, this is controls for the generator system. Also the satellite TV is controlled from in here as well. And then in here, this is actually the controls for the hydraulics that raise that entire roof section up. So you can see if I look from here, you can see how that sort of goes in slightly and up and out. That's the top section that then comes down to that level. I'll explain that in a bit more detail when we go inside. Back here, Satellite TV hookup is in here. And then if we come on back, a couple of other things, you can see the rear wheels are down here behind these panels. And then in here, there's a bit of storage. There's a hydraulic leveling system. You can see that's down at the moment. And another thing which is quite neat is in here, that little nozzle down there is actually a pressure wash system. So you can wash the vehicle or you can wash motorbikes, whatever else. Now, obviously, you're not going to go camping with this. These are used for, well, this particular one has been used for uh, motor racing. I think MotoGP motorbikes, if I remember rightly. So you take this to a racetrack and set it all up. You might also use these for exhibitions. You might use them for uh, film sets, that kind of thing. What you're not going to use this for is to knit down to your local campsite and turn up and say, hi, have you got a pitch, please? Anyway, let's head on board because it's the interior that is absolutely incredible. This is a coded entry system. There's also an intercom, so you can actually talk to people inside. So if people turn up, you can check them out before they come in. There's lighting dotted around as well, and CCTV systems, so little cameras about the place like this. That's all integrated into it. And then of course you've got these steps. This is the slide out that I mentioned. So that powers away. And if we head on up here, this then takes us in. So we'll head back this way first of all. The first thing that greets you is this lounge area. Now this is the slide out on the inside, so you can see how that works. Makes for a very comfortable little area. Maggie's tucked away there. And then on this side is the kitchen. So you've got things like storage in places like that. And then along here, this is all extra bits of storage. TV systems are in here. Now you notice there's two TVs and the reason for this is because that one can display the CCTV images from the security cameras or you can plug in if you're in a track, you can plug in and see track times and that kind of thing. So you can run different displays on here. This along the bottom, again, is more bits of storage. So you've got drawers here that come out, for example. And then if we come down to this end, then you've got your hob bit more storage underneath. There's a fridge here somewhere. Ah, washing machine there. There we go, and the fridge in that one. And then up above, there's a microwave in there. And then a bit more storage in along here. But let's head on a bit further because if we go into here, and I mentioned this is three bedrooms, this is one of them. And this takes us into here. So you've got bunk beds in here air conditioning everywhere on this one as well. Um, you can see you've got the windows here. You've got these rather neat blinds that are actually built into the windows. So you can control those from here, but they're actually in between the double glazing. Um, and there's also night screens that will drop down. So if you're somewhere particularly bright, then you can cut that down if you want to sleep. TV in here as well. And then there's a bit of storage in the end, like so, a bit full of gear at the moment. And then if we come to the other end, 
It's incredible, isn't it? You wouldn't believe that you're in a motorhome when you're in here, would you? Let's come down here. There's another bedroom down here. So a couple of steps up. And there we go. You might be able to hear a hum in the background. That's a generator. It has a Fisher Panda generator. So all of this electrics can all be run. You don't need to plug in for that. You can have it all independently powered from the vehicle. Another neat trick in here actually is this switch up here controls that bed so you can go up or down and the idea of that is there's just one person here they could drop that right down and have it at normal bed height if you've got a couple of people or then you bring the top one up like so and you've got bunk beds and then if we come up here air conditioning unit again and then more storage hanging rail that kind of thing up here and again you've got tv and you've got storage along in places like this fantastic and if we come back a bit further the other thing that you have on this level is a very nice toilet shower beautiful proper home from home stuff really really nice so that is this floor but as I say the real trick to this is that roof that goes up so when it's down you have uh, four meters of height so it is legal for Europe but when you put that roof up and it goes up on hydraulics then this area comes into play check this out so there's a staircase here I love the way they've lit this underneath I think that's really smart and on up we go now these stainless steel supports here you can see them here back in the corner they're on the other side as well another one there that's what brings this roof section up when this is down it is at this height so this area can't be used and when you're stopped you can bring the roof up and away you go you've got fuller height in here i think it takes the height of this up to something like about five and a half meters um, and if I remember rightly it's two and a half meters wide so again it's the right width for european roads but it's giving you loads of space inside let's go down this end first of all you can see there's a wardrobe here obviously when you drop the roof you have to bring the wardrobe down flat first everything that sticks up above that height tv for example all needs to be moved down and then the roof comes down let's come right up here so you've got this nice little area up here the way this has been set up by this particular owner is to have this all as his own private area up here so you've got lounge area here TV and that kind of thing which means other people can use that lower deck and you can have this to yourself and as we go down this end this he's got set up as a bedroom so bed here as you can see you've got storage next to it and then if we come on around there's another TV up on the wall and again these have got these blinds that are built in which is rather neat and if we come right back what we find then is the bathroom so and it really is a bathroom it's got a proper bath in fact it's actually a jacuzzi bath it's got the jets in it I mean it's proper home from home stuff it's amazing toilet is in here as well and then there's a shower which is a rainfall shower in there now, as I say, this is how the person who had this one built configured it. You could change this around if you wanted to. Now, the last thing to show you up here is the balcony. Let's go and check this out. So if we come up here, where we are going now is on the roof of that slide out that we saw down underneath. And this is brilliant. Again, if you've got this at a racetrack, for example, and it's in the pits, it's somewhere people can come up here and sit. They can watch the racing. They can chat. And it just takes you right out of the side of the vehicle now this all slides in so these rails come off you can see this roof section here you unclip these and you can see it's on little gas struts that then drops down flat as i mentioned earlier it is like a transformer just incredible the whole thing packs up and again from here you can see how that roof system works because this here this all comes down and you can just see the way it sort of cuts in and down and out and that's so that that can slide down over it and drop that down to four meters for road transport but it means that when you're stopped and you expand it all out you've just got well acres and acres of space it's amazing absolutely amazing the ultimate motorhome let's head on back down
There we go. That there, incidentally, is the intercom system. So that's how you can check who's outside. You can see them on the screen there, and you can choose to let them in. It's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Just the space on here. You wouldn't believe this is the kind of thing that you can move around on the road. It feels like a house. And a pretty big house like that, a three-bedroom house. Just fantastic. Let's finish off on the outside so that we can see it again in all its glory. And again, you can see now how that whole top section slides down over here, down to that level. And that's how that works. That folds in and away you go. But what a beast. As I say, over 13 metres long. Just incredible. So that's it. There you go. Huge thanks to Empire RV. They've arranged this tour for me. I'll put a link to those guys in the description. And huge thanks to you guys as ever for watching. Let me know what you think of that one, but I think that is pretty incredible. See you on another video very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.